OK, now let's use Rybash to install all of these mods. If you click on the Installers tab, you'll see all of the files that we put in the Rybash folder are over here now. So if you go to the FCOM thread, after the unofficial patches was Francesco's, then OOO, then Warcry, then MMM, then FCOM. So we're going to load all of these mods in that order. So first was Francesco's, and that's right after the unofficial patches. So this one's already in the correct order. After that was OOO. Here is the 133 complete, and we want that to be here. This is in order 14, so we're going to select 000133 complete and move to 14. We're going to take the beta 5 patch and move that to 15. After 000 was Warcry. This is the ESP. I just like having the ESPs before the resources. It's just a habit of mine. So I'm going to move the ESP thing to 16 the BSA with all of the resources is 17 and then we have Marty Gents monster mod this has all of the ESPs so we're gonna move this one to 18 this one's 19 I believe Then to, then to the diverse water life, and then the rune skulls. There we go. And then FCOM. This one has all of the ESPs and ESMs. This is the UF com. Twenty five for the entropic order rebalance, and then the other mod that's not part of FCOM is going to be the last one. We install all the mods that are not part of FCOM after FCOM. So now all of our uh, mods are in order. Let's start installing them. For Francesco's, it's okay if all of them are checked. For OOO, it's okay if both of them are checked. And then the 134 beta 5 patch. I like to uncheck OOO Waterfish for a couple of reasons. First of all, uh, it's been said that the OOO Waterfish can cause fish to get stuck on land sometimes. And also, Waterfish can increase the number of entities that are uh, in oblivion, and that can sometimes cause stability problems, especially on lower end systems. And uh, furthermore, MMM already has something like Waterfish called Diverse Water Life. So for these reasons, I like to uncheck OOO Waterfish. But if you want to use it, uh, feel, feel free to. And then Oblivion Warcry. Okay, and now we get to probably the hardest mod to install, MMM. I made a little cheat sheet for this one. 
so I don't have to go completely off of memory. Okay. Select the public release. And the first one we're going to, first we're going to right click over here and deselect all. And then select Mart's Monster Mod, that ESM. City Defenses, because I like City Defenses. Uh, you'll need the dive. You don't need it, but diverse rune skulls loot. O O O, not the gems and gem dust, just the O O O one. Yeah. Diverse water life. Dungeons of M M M and extra wounding. Farm animals. Hunting and crafting and looting NPCs and characters. Okay. More wilderness life and resized races. Safer quest locations. Shivering Isles because I have the expansion and Sloth Horses because why not? And Zombies for body meshes just in case there might be a problem. It's kind of a patch. Okay, and all the other ones I either don't want or I don't need. Um, I could go through them over here but I'm gonna go f through them on the cheat sheet because I have little notes. So I did not choose this one because it's not compatible so you should not choose this one either. Um, the additional enemy NPC uh, VARs that can increase your chances of crashing to desktop however uh, you can use it if you want to it just says in the boss notes that it can increase crashes to desktop. Uh, you don't want to choose this one at all because it's part of FCOM. You could choose it later. Don't use this one because it requires gems and gem dust and as you'll find out later gems and de gem dust is bad. I didn't choose the Rune Skulls loot um, vanilla because we're already using the OOO version. Durability and damage is part of FCOM, so we don't choose it in MMM. Friends leveled list is already in FCOM, so we don't have to choose that one. Friendlier factions is not applicable. At least the MMM plus Fran version is not. The friendlier factions OOO is part of FCOM, so you'll choose it later if you want to. Gems and gem dust is apparently bad. Uh, last I remember, the boss will not give you an error if you choose Gems and Gem Dust, but people on the forums always say, don't choose Gems and Gem Dust, it'll do bad things, so don't choose it. MMM Knights, you don't choose because it's part of FCOM. You can choose that later on at, when you're installing FCOM. Less Bone Loot, this is optional. I want Bone Loot, so I chose it, or I chose not to install it. Uh, even if you want less rats, don't choose it in MMM because that's part of FCOM. You'll choose it later. Less reavers you can choose. It's optional, but I want reavers. More passive wildlife. If you activate this, boss will say it's not recommended because it has bugs. More wilderness life, no gates. I'm already ha I already have a more wilderness life up here, so you don't want to use that plus this. You could use this one if you want, but if you do, then uh, deactivate more wilder wilderness life up there. No adventurers, um, that's optional. All of these are optional. Uh, no spiders, however. If you don't want spiders, don't choose it here. Choose it in the FCOM um, part where you, when you're installing FCOM. And uh, weaverns, don't choose it here. Choose it when you're installing FCOM. For safer roads, that's already part of FCOM, so you don't choose it in Mart's Monster Mod. For my 
spawn rates. I was I'm already happy with the spawn rates, so I don't choose them. Also, I think these are also part of FCOM, so you wouldn't choose them in Mart's Monster Mod anyway. MMM for Fran is not needed. You don't choose that. Um, OOO Knights, it's part of FCOM. Less Reavers and Gates is part of FCOM, so you'll choose these when you're installing FCOM. No Reavers and Gates, part of FCOM. And these last two are not needed in FCOM. So, all of these mods you could have chosen over here, and I just wanted to explain why I did not choose them. So, when you have all those uh, selected, you can install. Then go ahead and install the BSA. Install the diverse water life update. And then the rune skulls rebalanced. And MMM is installed. Okay, now let's install FCOM. I have a cheat sheet for this as well. I'm going to deselect all. I'm going to select the ESM. I like the archery. I'm not going to select Bob's Armory or Bob's Guard Unity yet because um, I don't have Bob's Armory installed yet. But when I do, I will be sure to select those two mods. I'm going to select this because I have Knights of the Nine. I'm not going to select Loth's Blunt Weapons yet because I don't have that installed yet, but I will have it later. Come War Cry. Okay, and that's uh, all I need activated right now, or um, want activated right now. Uh, the ones I did not choose, most of them are just compatibility mods, like if you have the Blood and Mud mod, then you'll choose FCOM Blood and Mud. Uh, the ones that aren't like that are FCOM Durability and Damage, this is optional, it increases the damage you do, but I like long epic battles, so I choose not to install Durability and Damage. If you want less rats or reavers and gates, you can select those. If you want more random stuff compared to your level, you can choose those. If you want to take stuff completely out of the game, you can choose one of these four. I didn't choose FCOM Oscuro's Overhaul because uh, you only choose that if you do not have MMM. And because we do have MMM, you don't choose um, FCOM Oscuro's Overhaul. And also the FCOM Warcry No Spawn. I'm already using FCOM Warcry, so you only use one or the other. So don't choose FCOM Warcry No Spawn. For you, FCOM, I'm going to deselect all and I'm going to choose FCOM Convergence, the ESM and ESP, and Knight, and Warcry. These are just spawn rates. I'm happy with my spawn rates. Then install the Warcry update. Install one or the other. I'm going to just use rebalance. And then you can install alternative start.